Hello everybody, Max Monty 1516 here, back again with another Countdown to Christmas review. Today's is going to be a little bit interesting, as we're going to be taking a look at the four exclusive models from the Edward the Great set. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these guys. Now, for a bit of context, the Edward the Great set was first released in 2006, based off of the Season 8 episode titled uh, the same, Edward the Great. Now, uh, the set, of course, I'm not going to, like, build the set and take a look at it, as set reviews just aren't really my thing. But after a few years of trying to collect all of the models together, I finally have gotten all four of the exclusive items from the set, and I'm going to be taking a look at them. So first off, let's take a look at the titular character, Edward. So, of course, this is basically just a stock standard model of Edward, except he has a tired expression right here. And this is actually, like, a really interesting face mask. It never got any other merchandise except for this set right here. And I'll just show uh, what it's meant to be based on right there. And that is this Edward model, basically. Now, I have reviewed Edward in the past, uh, actually for last year's Countdown to Christmas review. And again, this is just the 2008 model that is uh, also just has the exclusive face there. And again, I think the face is very nice. Of course, Edward, like, he's, he's like panting here. He's got like some red cheeks. His, his eyes aren't fully open. A lot of attention to detail here, and I think they replicated the face mask very well. The other engine variant we receive in this set is Surprised Spencer, and he is also very, very cool. So basically, this is the same model of Spencer here that you could get all the way from like 2004, I think, up until 2011 or something like that, around those years. And basically, this Spencer, again, is the same stock standard model, except he has a very unique face. Once again, this being based off of Spencer's surprised face from the same episode, which I will show right there. And honestly, again, I think Learning Curve did a great job, like, replicating these face masks. They did for pretty much all of their, like, exclusive face variants. And also, just, like, characters with different expressions or different faces have always been super cool and unique to me. And that's part of the reason I wanted to do this review in the first place, even though I really won't have too much to say about these two models, because, again, they are the same model, just with a di different expression there, as you can see. Although, once again, they did a great job replicating that face. It's a very, it's a very funny one. Uh, Spencer's, like, very surprised. And, yeah, that is Spencer, so I, I can't really say too much else. Because, uh, I mean, again, it's just a different face, but I do like it. Now, also in this set, we got two exclusive pieces of rolling stock, each for one character to pull. So, Edward's rolling stock is the furniture car. So, uh, for some context here... Edward and Spencer are racing, and while Spencer's pulling his passengers, Edward has the furniture car, as you can see here. So basically, it is just a flatbed that has, like, a bunch of furniture on it, and then there's a tarp over top. And honestly, they did a really good job replicating this prop as well. And again, just, uh, I'll show what it's meant to look like right there from the show. And then right here, again, this is the furniture car. So again, this is really detailed. I like the look of how they made the flatbed here. Uh, you can very clearly tell, like, it, it looks like the one from the show. And then you can also see, like, some bits of the furniture peeking out on there. Um, I can't really tell what it's meant to be, but it's like, uh, like, like, a, like wooden furniture, basically. And that's on both sides there. And interestingly enough, it's actually, the, the detail here is actually different on both sides, which I really like as well. Uh, this one here, of course, has property of the Duke and Duchess. And then on the other side, it just has furniture on the tarp. And the tarp, of course, has some string across it. It's got a little bow right there where it's tied up on the front. And overall, I just think the shape of this one is really unique. Like, look at that. It's, I think I think it's really cool. So, like, it's got, like, this tall bit here, and then it kind of flattens out a little bit, and then it's got like, this little uh, peak up at the back there. But, yeah, this is just a really unique item. It's also just really cool, I think, like, if you want to put this in the middle of a goods train. Like, it just kind of adds some more variety to that. And I really like this one, too. And now I've saved my favorite for last. So this is the Duke and Duchess's passenger car. Of course, Spencer being their private engine, he does have a coach to pull them in. Now, this was such a regular occurrence in the show. Like, whenever Spencer would appear, he would almost always have this coach. And the fact that it is so hard to find in Wooden Railway, and that you could only get it in this set, is actually quite a disappointment, really. Because, I mean, again, this, this set was only sold for, like, two years, so... You are basically out of luck if you missed it. And, I mean, of course, you can still get them online, but they're really expensive now. But the Duke and Duchess's coach here is magnificent. I love the deep red maroon color on it. And again, just on both sides there. It's got many windows and also these little golden symbols. I'm not really sure what they're meant to be. 
Also got a lighter red stripe right there through the middle. And just overall, I mean, again, I will show the prop here as well. I mean, they did a fantastic job at replicating this coach, but I really like it. So this is just a repaint of the Express coaches, which they are really similar in fashion. I don't think they'd need to make a new tooling just for this coach, but I am really glad it exists. So I will give it that, but that is pretty much it for uh, the coach here. And this was a different review. I, I like just, I, I really like the set overall. And I think it's so awesome that it had four unique models in it, like at the same time. And you couldn't get these anywhere else. So I mean, again, that they are exclusive. So that's kind of the whole point, but still, um, I just wanted to cover these and I'm just really happy to have them. So thank you all for watching and have a great day. Maximothia1516 signing out.